Heinemann Higher. Chapter 2 Sets and Functions. Exercise 2i, the mixed questions at the end. Number 2. Now this is quite a lengthy one. This was from one of the hires in the middle of the 90s when the exam used to be three hours long altogether over the two papers. Right, so what you've got here then is just lots of algebraic expressions and micro arithmetic. Right, for this function it says first of all you've got to find these two things and show that this combination of them gives you that. Well, you just have to batter into it then. So f of x plus 1 means replacing x by x plus 1. What f does is, whatever you put in, that does 4 times that thing squared minus 3 times that thing, which was put in, plus 5. Now it's just a case of multiplying it out. Now at the higher level, you don't spell that out. You're expected just to go straight into the expansion of the square of a bracket. In fact, you could jump a line and square that in your head and do four times each of the parts, but I'll just spell out this part of it anyway. So it's going to be square the first, twice the product, square the last. Multiply that out though. Minus 3x, minus the 3, plus the 5. I could tidy up from this. Let's multiply it out. 4x squared plus 8x plus 4, minus 3x, minus 3, plus 5. It's just that it's so long and quite often you'd want to just skip some steps because it's only little bits of arithmetic. So that's 4x squared plus 5x, and then it's going to be plus 6. Then it says find f of x minus 1. Well, that'll be the same thing. It'll be 4 times the thing squared, in this case x minus 1, minus 3 times the thing x minus 1, plus 5. So it's 4 times, square the bracket, square the first, twice the product, square the last, minus 3 times the x, and then that'll be plus the 3, negative, negative, plus 5. You could just say straight away 4x squared, and then minus 8, minus 3, I'll spell this bit out, 4x squared, minus 8x, plus 4, minus the 3x, plus 3, plus 5. <clears throat> so that's going to be 4x squared, minus 11x. And then that's going to give you what? Again, 7 plus 12. Then, finally, show that this thing here then. A half of the first one minus the second one. Watch, of course, when you're subtracting an expression that you subtract all the terms contained within that expression. So that I would write a half of the first expression 4x squared plus 5x plus 6, no need to put it in a bracket because it's just down first, minus, but I'll keep this in a bracket, minus all of this, so minus all of 4x squared minus 11x plus 12. So that's going to be a half of, but this time I don't think I'll just use another line simply to get into that bracket, I'll just be aware of the bracket as I tidy up. 4x, take away the 4x, gone. 5x, take away the negative 11, that's 5 plus 11, so that's 16x. 6, take away the 12, negative 6. And then half of that's going to give you 8x minus 3 as required. So that was part A. So part B, do the same again for this expression. Right, well, you could set out in one big long bracket by just setting this all out. I'll do the two separate parts. So g acting on x plus 1 should produce two lots of that x plus 1 squared plus 7 times that x plus 1 minus 8, because just this one in parallel. g acting on x minus 1 is going to be 2 times that x minus 1 squared plus 7 times that x minus 1 minus 8. Square the brackets. So that's going to be x squared Twice the product, square the last, multiply that out, 7x plus 7 minus 8. And on this side it's going to be 2 times, square the bracket, x squared minus 2x, but still plus 1 for the square. Well, close that bracket there. 7x that one. minus 7 minus 8. Multiplying it out, 2x squared plus 4x plus 2 plus 7x plus 7 minus 8. 2x squared minus 4x plus 2 plus 7x minus 7 minus 8. Tidying it up, <coughs> 2x squared plus, that's a nasty 2, plus 11x, <coughs> and that's going to be minus 1, just plus 1 there. And this side's going to be 2x squared, only 3x there, and that's minus 15 minus 13. Right, that would be the first bit of it. Okay. 
Then, half of g of x plus 1 minus g of x minus 1 is going to be a half of this expression, which I don't need to put into a bracket, but you could put inside a courtesy bracket if you liked. But I do need to put this in. If I'm subtracting an expression, I've got to make sure I subtract all the parts. So I'll keep that in a bracket. And then, what have I got then? 2x squared minus 2x squared, gone. 11x, take away 3x, 8x. 1, take away negative 13, so 1 plus 13 plus 14. So that gives me 4x plus 7. So, third bit. By examining your answers for A and B, write the simplified expression for this. Oh, it'd actually be easier further on in the course because you would recognise that immediately. And of course, this was a higher question. And by the time you finish the course, you'll have done differentiation. But even without that, you can spot what's happening here, where these numbers can come from. That 3 is the same as that 3, that 7 is the same as that 7. So I'm guessing that that's going to be, I'll just put under here, that's going to be something plus 5. What about the thing in front of the x? Well, that's double the 4. And that's double the 2. So that should be double the 3. So it should be 6x. That would be the answer. There it is. Question 2. Quite lengthy.